All right, we're doing doing part two of Big Sandy River. And uh, we just did part one, so hopefully now you're ready for this part two, which is only the next, uh, oh, the next two measures. We've been doing two measures. So let's do that. Uh, we want it to sound something like this. Good. All right, here we go. One more time. All right. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get in position for that D chord. So let's put your middle finger of your left hand on the second fret on the low G here, and then first finger on the B string of the first fret here, and that gives us a C note. So we have. A D chord here. All right, this is what we're going to pick. Eight strings here. So pay attention. We have open low D, and then second fret on the G, which we already have, and then open high D up here, and then open high G, the drone string, back to open high D, and then B string on the first fret, which we already have down, and then second fret on the G, which we already have down, and then open high D, and that makes eight notes. Oh, sorry, did the wrong string. Then let me try it again. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, a little faster. And then what we have left is okay. So let's do that next measure here. We have uh, open high G here on the drone string. And then we have first fret on the B, which we've had the whole time. So pick that. Now this is a little different. We're going to put the ring finger here on the second fret on the high D. And then go back to the high G drone. And then lift up for an open high D. Okay, so we have right there. Ba, 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 ba. All right, one, two, three, four, five strings. One, two. Five notes actually. All right, let's put it together what we've done in this lesson thus far. We have. So, ah, keep hitting that low D. Let's do that again. My thumb pick on straight. Okay, here we go. All right. Let's do that again. Let's go a little faster. Okay, did pretty good that last time. Uh, then, after that, we're going to start over and do what you did in lesson one. This little... Okay, all that you did there, we're going to repeat that. So repeat all of lesson one, and then we'll be ready for part three here. <laughs> 